Saturday it is like 8 30 or something in the morning and I'm just making coffee we had load shedding at 6 and I was like I swear I was gonna remember to make coffee before 6 because that's what I do on a weekend but I forgot and then the lights went off and I was like oh great anyway so yeah I'm making coffee now and very random day that we have planned so I'm gonna still chill a little bit and then get ready and then we are going to go to our normal standard weekly grocery shopping and then what was it oh I was going to I was supposed to go to Pilates this morning but I forgot to sign up for the class and then when I did try there was no more spaces obviously um, because it was last minute, so I'm not going to Pilates class. So we are just gonna go and maybe grab a pumpkin spice latte. It started this week at Starbucks, so it's one of my favorite drinks. So we're gonna go get one. Um, I don't know why they do it. It's the wrong season um, in the southern hemisphere. Like I get it. It's now starting to be like cold and whatever in um, other countries. But here it's starting to be summer. So I don't know why we don't get it when it's like our winter. Anyway, I'm going to get one of those and then do our grocery shopping. And then I need to wash my car. I seriously need to wash my car. Every time I say like, cool, it's going to rain tomorrow. So I'm going to wash right now. But at this point, you can't keep making that excuse like I have to wash it even though it's most probably gonna rain like in the next two days or whatever so I need to do that and then we have some bathroom updates which I will show you like later on but we have we ripped out the sink and like the countertops and stuff so we don't have a sink in the bathroom right now so I need to like do everything else like in the shower or like in the kitchen sink so that's not fun but at least we're making some progress okay so i'm getting ready now i have like half a bathroom um i'm just gonna put some dry shampoo in my hair mm -hmm. i'm just gonna use this normal one even though it's like white so it doesn't look great on my brown hair, but anyway, who cares?
Okay, so I leave it. I don't comb it through. I do everything else. And then, like at the end, I will just comb it through. I feel like it needs to absorb what it's supposed to absorb. And then afterwards, I, yeah, then I'll comb it through. So it is, I'm looking at my arm as if I have my watch on. I don't. Um, I think it's around, or oh, it's almost like 10. So I'm quickly going to get ready now. And then we're gonna go off and to our grocery shopping, get a coffee, that kind of thing. Because we don't have that much time this afternoon to do all the things that we want to do. And yeah, one thing that I hope we could do this afternoon is to cut the marble for these countertops. But Jason told me it's highly unlikely that he's gonna get time to do that. But like there's like maybe like a two percent chance that we'd be able to do that. Um, it's obviously quite tricky. We only have a well, one slab of marble. If we mess it up, then we don't have any more. So you kind of have to pay attention and do it right the first time. So I don't know if it's a good idea doing it like rushed. But anyway, so that's kind of the plan. Is that maybe we'll do that, but buying the groceries, doing the cars, and like those are the two main things, is <laughs> getting food and washing the cars. Mine is only dirty on the outside, and Jason's car is more dirty on the inside. So it's gonna be a combination of like washing the car on the outside and then also like major vacuuming and stuff. So anyway, it's very gloomy outside. I just checked, it's like, it was like foggy and stuff, so. At least not like super hot or anything and it's also not raining because <laughs> then also you know that also sometimes becomes annoying but it's it's just like a cool morning anyway i'm just going to start my routine and then we'll be at the door done. Now I need to come through this dry shampoo. Sometimes it's hard. It was so much easier when I was blonde to do dry shampoo because you obviously can't see this white stuff. And I know there's a brown version of the dry shampoo but they were not available when I bought the um, when I had to buy some dry shampoo, so I just bought the normal one. Um, so I just like really comb it in for a little bit, and then eventually it actually like goes in or sinks in or whatever, and it doesn't look like super white or like baby powder vibes. I only want to wash my hair tomorrow evening, so that's why I'm trying to now make it look acceptable for the day so that I don't have to wash it today and let me wash it tomorrow. So now I'll do like a middle part and then just use this like big claw clip and like do something with that and then. I don't know if you're gonna see, but then like, that sort of just looks like at the back, just like that. So yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna get Jason, and then we're gonna go to the shops. I 
I now did not show you the bathroom and Jason's busy like showering and stuff but I'll insert some <laughs> clips of what it looks like but basically what we did last night was we took out like the I call the wet picks but it's whatever that is it like chipboard or whatever that countertops and over the years they've like swollen so it's like basically what wet picks does when you add like milk and stuff so anyway we like took that out and I took off like the silicone away whatever the previous people like put silicone on the sides so I scraped that all off and stuff and then the sink was like a disaster um, but anyway took the sink out ripped the countertop out scraped all the silicone on the sides off and yeah so that whole section is out except for the, like the box part so basically the little like cupboard thing is still there um, but there's no like top on stop on top of it so um like countertop thing that's why we need to cut the marble so yes and then the sink will actually sit like on top of it not like inside like the previous one we took out sat like inside the cupboard or whatever it's like a sunken sink where the one we bought it just sits on top which is nice and then what else um, we bought taps so we do have new taps and we put new handles on the doors and yeah that's basically it so yeah I hope we will be able to put the countertops in because that's the only thing like that's like a biggish kind of thing and a big deal um, and that we do it right other than that it's like putting the that taps on and stuff like that which is easy we just can take the existing stuff off and put the new stuff back on so for that that will take like half an hour or whatever where the marble cutting thing is is different because first of all we don't have experience in cutting that stuff Jason has the tools to cut it but you know it's not like he is an expert at cutting like stone so who knows maybe it's a mess and we need to find an alternative I don't know hopefully not but yeah so that's that um, and then basically the black like, bathroom renovation thing will be done because we try to like keep it simple like change like some big things but not change everything so I yeah I just hope that we can do it like successfully and finish it and then it's like done we didn't want to like take all the tiles off and do like massive renovation just because we do not have the time and i don't want all that dust i really don't and the tiles are fine the tiles are like plain white it's not an issue it's not it doesn't bother us if it was like funny tiles or like a specific color then maybe we would have changed it but it's just plain white so it's all good and that's basically it so yeah, I'm still waiting for him. <laughs> He's still showering. Um, so I'm just chilling on the couch. And yeah, then we're gonna go. Okay, so we are back and it is almost 1.30 and the electricity is going off at 2 
So we're just trying to get everything done before we need to leave again. But we want to do it before the electricity goes off because then we can't go down with the elevator. And then we have to walk all the way down. So Jason's gone down now, doing stuff in the garage. Then come up. I'm going to make us quick, quick, quick lunch before we leave to go to his parents' house. And then I'll wash the car there. Anyway, I see now how bad this looks. But I had self tunnel on. It's been, what, it's been more than a week. And it's just like that part. That's now not very nice. So anyway, that's what that is. It's just like, a, obviously didn't blend it in properly. Anyway. Um, yes, we bought some groceries. We also bought some beers. We've been looking for milk stout beers for like the longest time. But Checkers has like a shortage in milk stout. So, because that's Jason's favorite beer. So we went to Macro quickly and got some, and then I got myself some Stella. That's like one of the only like beers that I really like. So we just bought like a case. So we were at Woolies and at Checkers. I'm very disappointed because I wanted to buy the frozen German pretzels from Checkers that's apparently new, and it was sold out. Then we went to a different Checkers and it was sold out there too. So, anyway, really wanted that. Thought beers and German pretzels would be really good, but they don't have any. Anyway, I got these brown flour tortillas from um, Checkers. This is also new. These are massive. So, we have that because we'll have wraps somewhere in the week. No surprise. Then I just bought some low GI brown buns. And we bought cheese from checkers this is the lady smith one which is the white hoda one which i really like white hoda um so we got yeah we just got this one cheese is expensive really expensive then woolies had a special on the hot dog and their burger buns the white ones so we got that standard brown bread as well and then we just got some soups Jason got the farmhouse chicken and I this time got the spinach and broccoli and kale one, which is like the green one. And then he got this one. So we'll eat that one evening. And then we just got this for the wraps as well. We still have some of the frozen chicken strips from Willy's that we bought last week. So that's what we're going to use in the wraps. But then I also just got two of these smashed other ones. Then... So, story time quickly. We've always bought the Checkers coffee beans, but then last week or the week before, we figured out that the Woolies one was cheaper than the Checkers one, or they were the same price. So we went and we bought the che the Woolies one, the, what is this? Italian blend. And it's so good. So now I don't even drink espresso pods anymore because I only drink this. But then we ran out of the Woolies beans like two days ago. So that's why I had Nespresso pods yesterday and this morning in anticipation of buying beans again. But this is one. Um, it's the green label one. I think they have a like a breakfast blend and then they also have like a Maca Java one. But this one I think is also the strongest rating. But yeah, beans are really good. Then... Also at Woolies, they had a special 50 rand for two, like, sandwich hams. So we got these smoked um, ham ones. These are really good for sandwiches, which is what I'm going to make now. Then we also got um, some Viennas. We like these beechwood ones. That's why we have the rolls. So somewhere in the week we'll have some hot dogs. And then I really like these apples. These are the crunchy munchy ones. They're smaller than normal ones, but I feel like they like their like perfect size for like a snack so they these apples are tiny but i really like these and then oh we got more viennas these are frankfurters um just like these ones they're also very tasty is there anything else oh oh this is boring just a bag of carrots for the bunny we are running out of carrots for him. 
and that's basically it though that's like all the stuff for this week we'll have some hot dogs some wraps some soup and then some sandwiches oh and we still have the frozen box of fish fingers because you never ate it this week so that just carried over now so we'll most probably be able to eat that too so we're actually doing really well we're sticking to our budget everything's great um so yeah, i'm gonna make us a quick cheese and ham sandwich and then we're heading out to jason's parents house and we're going to just hang out there wash the cars do whatever he did mention to me now that we can't cut the marble today because he needs to first uh, build the little template for the actual cutting of the marble so you need to apparently build the templates that everything you know the corners if it's not 90 degrees you know what is the degrees of the corners and 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 so on so he's going to build that today so then we have the templates so then anywhere in the week we can cut the marble because i need that to go in because i need the sink it's not super easy not having a sink in the bathroom so that's kind of the, the story time um we also, our pumpkin spice lattes were, it was so good. It's sweet and you know, I don't even drink any sugar in my coffee. I just don't like it, but it is just, I think the syrup that they put in is sweet. So it's not something that I can like drink every day, but it's nice to like once in the season, enjoy it as like a treat. So that was really nice. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me pack this stuff away and make quick lunch before the electricity actually goes off. Okay, so we are done with my car, and now he's decided to do the other cars as well. So, um, Jason just took the car around the block, and then we're going to wash his car as well. Um, my back started hurting really bad, so I can't wash the lower parts because I can't actually bend down. So I'm kind of washing like the windows and stuff, but yeah, my back is, when it starts hurting, takes a minute before it gets better so um that's not ideal there he is now we can start washing this one i just don't know about the soft top i'm assuming you can't just splash water all over it but yeah <laughs> back it's like almost 10 o'clock and i just took a shower um what an eventful day we washed the cars we had a braai we just had a really good evening um relaxing it was just a good evening we did actually cut the like template situation for these countertops so obviously we didn't actually cut the marble so next step will be to actually cut the marble which is definitely not going to happen tomorrow so assuming least somewhere in the week we'll be able to do that but i'm just doing my skincare routine quickly so i use this retinol by standard beauty i really like it so i'm just using that um and then like three other creams that I use but yeah I have severe back pain and I've had it since like midday just started hurting so badly and I took a tablet for like a muscle relaxing kind of tablet or whatever it is 
but it's not it's working but I think you need to take it like more often so I'll take one tomorrow again I just wanted to take a warm shower because that tends to make me feel better and then I also just boiled the water because I need the hot water bottle to like be on my back and then also electricity is going off in like 30 minutes or whatever so that's not ideal so we rushed back now off the bride so that I can shower do all these things and get into bed before the electricity actually goes off but yeah my face is nice and sticky and now I can put on my night cream and then I want to go sleep because this pain is so bad it's I can't like even like properly bend down anyway but an eventful day nonetheless so I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you for watching and spending the Saturday with us or with me and I hope you have a good Sunday and I will see you next week. Bye.